pathway over here uh, with his Ancient of Whim. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do. I think he's, I think he's trying to hide it. I can't really tell. He's got his Demon Hunter back out, and he's got a Warden. And he still has yet to get any units except for the Hippogriff. So, but he does have a Tree of Eternity already very, very fast. Uh, although, you can see Pride and Prejudice is actually upgrading to a Tree of Eternity right now. But we're now putting an Assault on there. I've actually illusioned a couple of my troops to pull off the exact same trick for them. And so it looks like I have a whole lot more troops than I really do. So I'm going to look at it in that Prejudice's uh, point of view. And... Yeah, you can you can see uh, it looks like I have a whole lot more troops than I do. Actually, uh, losing one of my other guys too, one of my uh, footmen, just to protect, just to make more of a uh, barrier so they couldn't get to my riflemen quicker. And now we've taken out their priestess of the moon. Uh, we're actually moving in their base right now to take out their prote ancient protectors. As you can see, Seth, you see those ancient protectors? How much damage they do? Oh yeah, those things are doing work on your. Uh... Yep. What are they doing work on right now? Your oh, they're on those grunts. Yeah, so now gotcha. I, I see them. I see them about to teleport in, so I back out, so I can get away from these uh, ancient protectors and uh, just all these ancients. So now I back them out in the open, and we can take them out with the riflemen very fast. I'm actually gonna try to push around on this demon hunter right here, but it doesn't really work that well, especially with the immolation. He does a lot of damage. I'm gonna get my hero out of there because he just got nuked. Demon hunter went down. Now I'm gonna focus fire on the warden. And there she goes. We now have a Tarn Chieftain in here too. So now we're gonna take down these ancients really quick, really actually really slowly. We don't have that many troops. So Seth, what are your thoughts on the game? Oh yeah. Seemed like y'all were playing pretty inexperienced players. That just I, I don't I mean I don't mean I'm not like bashing you and the other guy, but I'm just saying. They didn't seem to be up to par at all. Like, I don't know if they would have ever had a chance against you in the future if you played them again. They just seemed to, I don't know. I don't know. It just was really fail game for Pride and Prejudice and the other guy. Especially with them being, um, both of them being Elk. Oh, is it Elk or Elvin? Oh, Night Elf? Night Elf. It, it being Night Elf. Because what's that supposed to be? Like, one of the best and most popular? Um, I like it, but it just depends on how you play it. We actually didn't we actually put up an ancient protector right here. I didn't really see it going up. I wouldn't really pay attention. I was just trying to get this tree of eternity out of the way. And it's actually going to come up and hit us. And actually, the priestess in the moon, we made a lot of mistakes right here. And now we got two things that are able to attack our troops. And that was that was our fault right there. Y'all should have taken out that altar, right? Oh, yeah. No, that should have been the first thing we went after. But we didn't. We went after the ancients. And so now we're taking out the ancient protector really quickly. And I'll try to put around on the priestess, but she ain't having it. She's actually gonna get out of here. And we're gonna fo we're gonna not have to worry. We're not gonna worry about her. She's gonna get away regardless. So, um, yeah, that's that's what's going on right now. Uh, I actually got expand. I actually got the expansion now, and I haven't really uh, utilized it very much. Uh, Zambu has utilized his pretty well. And it'll, it'll, oh, oh, over here in the bottom left hand corner, right above purple, you can see that. Um, Pride and Prejudice is setting up another base on the, for an expansion. I'll uh, see ya. And purple over here is massing chims and hippogriffs. Got two heroes as well. So that's going to be really effective. You, Seth, if you click the chimera, you can see how much damage they do. They do quite a bit of damage. 69 to 117. Oh, yeah. And you can compare yeah. him to my rifleman. It's a lot he's different. Still creep, he's still creeping with his demon hunter, trying to get him leveled up. It's purple easy. didn't... What purple didn't help him at all, did he? When y'all were attacking his base, uh, he brought over two. He brought over both his heroes, but we killed them both. And you can see now, oh. yellow is starting to work on that expansion. So uh, blue is actually going to be out right here. I should be. I have to take out all his buildings. I don't know what else he has left. He's got his. Well, he's got the hero over here on the right side. Going to go uh, yeah, after our expansions. Hmm. So, and I think about now, yeah, I'm starting to get, uh, starting to, uh, get more stuff. Starting to get, a uh, Arcane Sanctum. I'm probably going to get a second barracks. I got a workshop now. I was going to do, do that to get rid of all the ancients. It looks like Zambuga's attacking right now. Oh, yeah, he sure is. And Zambuga is actually going to teleport out of here because those chims are doing a whole lot. And he, 
he lets me know there's mass gems in their base, so. Them hippogriffs ain't half bad themselves and got four armor also. The Chimera has six armor. Well, the hippogriffs are good for anti-air, so say we got air to kill their air, because Chimeras can attack air. They can only attack ground units and buildings. So the hippogriffs can only attack air, so he's got it all covered right now. So if I made another air unit to ki kill theirs where they couldn't attack it back, well, then uh, the hippogriffs could rip me apart with that 73 damage. Gotcha. And this Priestess of the Moon is still over here doing work on uh, your peasants. Oh, yeah, he sure does. I think I think he gets all of them. And uh, over here on the left side, you can see I'm actually got a uh, rifleman. I start upgrading them because I realize they have uh, lots of chims. So I want to start. Actually, I think that's when I get the second barracks going up. Yep, there's a second barracks so I can get more. And I was kind of behind in, uh, my units uh, with my production with the uh, food. So I couldn't pump them out as fast as I wanted as I would like to, and the chims are really taking out these these uh the expansion really fast. So I doubt any of his peasants, are, any of his peons are gonna get away. Nope, there's no way. Guess he decides to attack right here. And so now he's actually gonna go after uh, Zambuga's base now. Yeah, Zambuga doesn't have a bad uh, setup over here though. But if he get if he gets in behind those watchtowers and he runs behind the base, he's got he's got plenty of uh, he's gonna get away from that really easily. But all he has to do is block his troops in right there on the left side, and he won't be able to get through. And his watchtowers and burrows can tear him up. So there he goes. Yeah, he's blocking in the back side of his base, so he can't get through. Those Chimeras are doing work though. Oh, yeah, the Chimeras are gonna uh, they'll tear up those watchtower watchtowers no problem in burrows. They're extremely good against buildings. But he also needs to get rid of those troll headhunters to uh, kill Zambuga. Oh, and I see you end up uh, countering over here and taking his base. Oh, yes. It's, it's, I, when I saw him uh, going after Zambuga's base, I'm like, well, I'm going to go take him out. And he actually I actually have to run into their uh, line of ancient protectors. And Blue goes, goes ahead and leaves because all he has a priestess of the moon. And he sees the game is pretty much over. Because Yellow did a great job of taking out uh, his Chimeras. Especially, I think it was the burrows that, and burrows and watchtowers that took him out. So, oh, yeah. Is it, uh, uh, and he teleported both, back. Yeah, they actually both leave. And That's game. that was game. That was a great game. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, we will do better on the Skype. Uh, we'll get a lot more used to it. Don't worry about that. Um, but uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Give us uh, suggestions. If you have gameplay you'd like us to do commentary over, um, Send it to sloth and moose at yahoo.com. Uh, we'll put that email in the description. But other than that, uh, guys, thanks. See ya.